Okay, for um, for this particular steaming, I'm going to be using this SE1. Now, this dates from approximately 1967. Uh, it's probably one of the last ones that were actually made. Um, you can see from the the viewpoint here, it has the curious hammerite, hammered green paint effect on the the engine frame. Um, it also comes in, you can see behind one of the red window boxes which were used from about 65 onwards um, obviously it's got a riveted engine frame so consequently it does date it to around that period um, leads me to think that it is one of the later ones for the simple fact that it has got that hammered green effect paint which tended to um, start being used by mailings uh, around the sort of late 60s it's certainly on Griffin and George SE3s and it appeared on a lot of SE1, uh, SE2s and SE2As as well and uh, this engine has say, not been steamed a lot at all as you can see from the condition of the lamp it's in very very good condition um, I bought this one last year and it shipped over from Canada so it's only been steamed once by me I thought I'd give it a little outing today anyway, it's not good as steam toys in action, so uh, it'd be nice to actually run it. Now it's going to be running this Mammold workshop, I call this a number one workshop just because it was the first one I made. Uh, and this is running a full set of um, late 50s, or sort of in the case of one, early 50s to late 50s tools. They've all got sort of the classic um, sort of little traits which give away the fact that their earlier versions, not only the grinder with its two different coloured wheels, but uh, we have the press or punch with its unclipped red rimmed wheel. We have the polisher um, with the oiling holes as well as the hammer as well, which is only uh, which has got like an early style flywheel, but again that one is clipped this time, so it may be a little bit later than the press. All those for all came in the, the old white boxes which were replaced obviously in 1957. Now it's driving onto this sort of quite complex line shaft which incorporates the usual Mamod pulleys but also it incorporates um, Meccano pulleys for driven by the little electric motor there but also um, sprockets like the big one at the end which allows quite smaller less powerful engines to drive it using a Meccano chain giving them a really big mechanical advantage, I mean that gives a reduction of around about 20 to 1 and uh, the other two engines that are always attached to this workshop are a, a very early SE3 and uh, a sort of an early 60s MM2 which um, I say are attached to this hulking great piece of oak uh, which was an off cut from when I was having my kitchen made uh, the whole ensemble there weighs the best part of 40 pounds uh, and it's a bit of a, a lump to heave around, especially to, to steam toys in action. So anyway, so the late SE1 will be driving this little lot shortly. Uh, I've got the engine positioned in such a way that it, it'll drive the hammer in the correct direction without me having to twist around the drive band. I'll probably use the MM2 spirit lamp for this one because I like to keep the lamp on this particular engine uh, as crisp as possible. Um, looking at the engine you can see there's very little in the way of tarnishing or burn marks which would lead me definitely to believe that it is uh, a fairly infrequent steamer. The little SE1 here is essentially one of the last engines, or was the last engine along with the SE2 to be built with the, the Union nut you can see on the boiler there. After uh, after 67 that disappeared, they just uh, basically soldered the pipe straight into the, the boiler and also you can see it's got a superheated steam pipe going looping underneath the boiler. That all disappeared as well along with um, uh, basically the uh, sort of early heritage from the, the very first mammals uh, from 1937. So all in all, you have um, you know a bit of a sort of end of line engine, really in many respects. Not quite as glamorous as the SE2A or the SE2 or the SE3, but nonetheless um, a nice sort of honest to goodness simple engine, and uh, it was to become ultimately the uh, the SE1A with a, a smaller um, safety valve and obviously the uh, 
lack of union nut on the boiler and no superheating as well so um, anyway we'll uh, just get this one prepared and we'll see how he performs driving uh, this number one workshop <laughs> 